Today we're tying the bonker. This is a great fly for bigger water and I'm in the process of tying them for the spring season here and uh, heading to Patagonia, taking a group there in two weeks. So as you can see, we're tying in the yellow tail. It's going to be a pretty hefty tail. I'm going to add another chunk of fur. This is actually Arctic Fox body dyed yellow. It's, it's a great fur. Has a lot of movement. Now I'm going to tie in just a little bit of flash. This can vary. Sometimes I put more flash, sometimes I put less. You know, I, I like to then I'll pick them out of my fly box based on the water conditions. Now for a tan zonker. It's a rabbit zonker strip. Just going to tie it in right at the point of the hook. Now I'm going to trim the tail. Now pay attention to how that's done. You don't want to just cut right across because that'll leave you with a square tail. You have to stroke the fibers forward and then cut at the base. Now I'm getting ready to add some cross cut rabbit. And this is going to be wound forward making a nice resilient body. Now I'm going to put the dumbbell eyes on. Normally if I was tying uh, in a production mode, I would have already put the eyes on you know, 20 or 30 hooks. But in this case, I wanted to show you the step of putting the eye on. And basically all you do is you add a little glue, figure eight the eyeball so that it's good and snug and notice how it's on the bottom side of the hook. Now I'm just going to wind the cross-cut bunny strip forward to just behind, uh, probably a sixteenth, eighth of an inch behind the eye. And I'm winding this fur side down uh, one because of the length and the other because I, th I think it gives it a little bit more of a, uh, it makes it turn up just a little bit. Bind that down. Okay, now we'll just preen out some of that fur, make sure that it's not all caught. You can see the body starting to take shape. Now that uh, zonker strip that we left hanging is now going to be pulled over the top. We'll create a good tie down point here. Cinch that in. I think these colors work well together. Here we're putting in some Senyo laser dub. 
I'm, I'm using the, the brown on the top and yellow on the bottom. I'm going to create a dubbing loop of the brown laser dub. This is probably a little bit too thick, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. You'll get the idea. I, I would suggest making this one uh, just a little more sparse. Less is best. You, you get more wraps and tighter wraps, but this will comb out nicely. Now I'm just going to get my uh, wire brush. You can use a Velcro brush. In this case, I'm using a wire brush just to comb out some of the loose fur and also to give it a more of a blended look. little preening, little primping, and there you have it. This fly will absolutely kill them. It's got all the right trigger colors in it. A little bit of red, it's got some yellow. Just has it all. Get this fly out in the water and go catch some fish. Have a good one, everybody.